how to not be obsessed with food all the time and thinking about food all day, all the time. It's something that comes up a lot when trying to eat better, get in better habits around food, lose weight, get fitter, be healthier, all of these things. And, and I totally get that. If you come in and give me a hello, if you want replay, drop a replay below. If you want more information, by the way, about our summer shape up, just comment below of summer and I'll get you the details. So how, how is this? What, how can we find a way we're not thinking about food all the time now? It's a really interesting one because someone might say, you know, I'm, I just find myself struggling to stick to stuff. I just find myself picking too much, snacking too much. I know I need more control, but I would never want to track food or weigh food or measure food or plan meals. It's just too much. I don't want to be thinking about food all the time. And the interesting part of this is if you really think about it, we have an unwritten rule. We have subconscious rules in here where we, we're, because we have no no kind of guidance rules and we're just kind of trying to be good the rule is that we're just going to go by how we feel and we might say things like hey Mel we might say things like I'm going to eat this I ate this but I didn't even want it I ate this I didn't even want it and the unwritten rule there is I'll eat even when I don't need something I'll eat it even when I don't want something and then we end up beating ourselves up it might take a day two days and actually by not thinking about food at one point we're now thinking about food a lot more. And I can say, for one, like this week, we've been horrendous with school meals, uh, sorry, uh, evening meals with the kids. Like when we come home, like not planned one bit. And yesterday before swimming, I was rummaging around, looking at what we got. It's like, we got some cheese, we got some beans, we got some eggs, what can I put? It was that bad, we need to do a shop. And I was like, right, um, Let's put some together. And as a result of that, I'd probably end up eating more because we were just picking a bit because there wasn't anything real significant. Whereas the the best days are the days where I've gone, yes, I've made like meatballs the day before. And although it seems like effort, when I actually did it, I was like, you know what? Like I was doing other stuff anyway. They were just simmering away in the background. And when we come back, there was no like, oh, what am I going to get? What have we got? Go think about that. What think about that? And the more decisions we have to make in the day, the more willpower we have to use, the worse our decisions are likely to be. So is it possible to not think about food all day? What's that balance? Because, you know, trying not to think about food all the time, but then snacking, picking, not being happy with your results, beating yourself up then as a result of that is also being quite obsessive with it. So what we suggest is that you look at one thing you can change today, whether that's I'm going to plan my snacks in today, whether that's I'm going to plan my lunches in today, whether that's the snacks I'm going to have today are, insert here, really simple, whether that's, I'm going to have protein with every meal. Start with one thing that someone in the street, if you went up to them and just said, this is what I'm doing, they would understand. It has to be simple, not I'm going to eat healthier. Hey, Jane, I'm going to eat healthier. It sometimes isn't enough. When you say things like that, it's like, what is health? We can get into a big debate. What is healthier? Is that eating an avocado when I'm not hungry? It's kind of healthy food, but is that a healthy situation? Depending on the goal. Anyway, I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. And I will see you soon.